ODU athletic director Wood Seelig hates to schedule schools that won't come to Norfolk, but he knew if the Monarchs could upset Syracuse, it would look good on the team's tournament resume, and for 85 grand, why not charter a plane, invite some donors, and give it a shot? A shot worth taking as ODU pulled the upset of the weekend in college basketball Saturday, beating the Orange by six, and Nathan Epstein joins us tonight with that story. It was almost three months ago the Old Dominion football team pulled off one of the biggest upsets in history, topping Virginia Tech at SB Ballard Stadium. I still remember storming the field when we played Virginia Tech. On Saturday, Ahmad Caver and Old Dominion stormed into Syracuse and emerged with the program's first road win over a ranked team in nine years. Dream come true. Uh, Syracuse was my dream school. Um, I was a fan. I'm a big fan of Carmelo Anthony, so. Ever since then, I've been a big Syracuse fan, and then uh, I think that was just a dream come true. We went in with the mindset that we knew we were going to win. It wasn't always smooth sailing. The Orange jumped out to a 13-point first-half lead and led by 10 at halftime. I just sensed that their body language just thought it was over. The crowd wasn't into it a lot, and, um, and we cut it down to like seven. And I knew after that we was going to just keep rolling. Scoreless in the first half, B.J. Stith woke up and scored 18 in the second half. The X-Factor, Xavier Green, added a clutch 15 points. Hampton's Marquise Godwin had 11 points off the bench. And the Monarchs left with that signature win. I think everybody wanted that signature win since I've been here. Um, but I think that just gives us more confidence that we can play with anybody on any given day. To see and be in that, that locker room afterwards and see the, the happiness on the guy's face, you know, that's that's terrific. Now, we, we did caution them. It's a great win, but it's, it's, it's one win. And so the message from Coach Jeff Jones, it's on to the next. You can't be seduced. Uh, you know, by uh, you know some some attention and, and positive feedback, it's great. But you you, you got to put it aside and you got to keep doing the things that allowed us to to win on Saturday. We celebrated for a minute, but we want more. We we're not satisfied, and I, and I love that about this team that we just we we can't wait to get back on the court again. Their next chance Wednesday on the road at Richmond in Norfolk. Nathan Epstein for the Sports Wrap.